Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be back with you. Well, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this new book I got. It's called The Meaning of Witchcraft. And it's a classic. It's written by Gerald Gardner. And uh, this was his second book of witchcraft that came out in the 1950s. Uh, it's a classic, you know, it's a very heady book. It's a, it's not a light read, let me put it that way. But it's got some pretty cool stuff in it. So if you're interested in learning about Wicca, you know, the witchcraft movement, you might want to get this book by Gerald Gardner. It's a really great book. Anyways, I want to share that with you. Well, welcome back to Spirit Channel. I tell you, I got to give a shout out. I want to say thank you. To all of you came out to yesterday's video. We had such a good time. We had uh, our astrology forecast and we covered everything that's going on in the stars. And so if you didn't see that, you need to go over and check that out. It's in the video queue right before this video. Well, I'm so glad you guys are here. And, you know, it's been a few weeks since we've done this because last week, you know, we had our charm series. Uh, but we're trying to get back to our normal schedule. And uh, every Tuesday here, for those of you who are new, welcome, by the way, to Spirit Channel. Uh, I hope you'll hit that subscribe and, and be a regular part of this here. Uh, but this is something we do every Tuesday. I do little mini psychic readings for people. Now, for those of you who may not know, I am a full-time professional psychic medium. That's right. Psychic Bob is in business full-time as a psychic. I do readings all day long. And speaking of private readings... Um, I do charge for private readings, uh, but I don't charge for messages from the spirit world. I've got some letters recently. People say, how much does it cost for me to submit a question for messages from the spirit world? Zero, zero dollars, free, okay? Uh, now, I can only answer one question because I do get hundreds of letters a week. But uh, if you want to submit a question to me, uh, there's no charge. And the way you do that is just... You can either, there are a few ways. One, you can write your question in the comment section below this video, or you can write me a private email at psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. So either way, you can reach me and we'll, we'll make it happen. Now, for those of you who you know have a very urgent situation or you want more than I can do here, you might want to consider a private reading with me. A private reading is a full hour. That's right. You get to sit with me, Psyche Bob and you, for a full hour. And it's you and me one-on-one. -on -one. And I can do that by telephone or by Skype or by Google Hangouts. So uh, we can make that happen. And in a private reading, it's a full hour. We're going to cover your whole soul journey. We're going to look at your past, your present, your future. We're going to identify your spirit guides and bring messages from them. We're going to bring over messages from any deceased loved ones that come through. Uh, we're going to look at your soul journey, your karmic links, all of that, what your mission is, and more. And I answer all of your questions. So if you want to get on my schedule for a private hour-long reading, you need to call me. Call my office. Put this in your cell phone. 703-825-3929 is my number. Again, Bob Hickman at 703-825-3929. Or you can write to me at my email, psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. That link will also be below in the info box. Anyways, well, we're going to get into our letters today. Gosh, I tell you, I got so many letters, we're kind of backlog, but I'm working on it. Uh, you know, and I have to tell people, you know, as I said, I get hundreds of letters a week. So if I don't personally write to you, please forgive me. Right now, I'm a little overwhelmed. I get so many letters, I can't personally answer everybody. And it's not that I don't want to. I do read all the mail, but to sit and write all the letters, it's a little beyond me at this point. But, you know, I always say, even if your letter does not get answered in this video, Listen to all the letters because you never know when spirit might work. And I'm telling you, this happens through somebody else's letter to answer your question. And I've had so many people write and say, Bob, you were doing a reading on your show for Sally in Buffalo, New York. But I swear that was my situation. Could that answer be for me as well? And the answer is absolutely yes. Spirit will work through other people's letters. So listen, because you might get a flash of insight you never expected. So be open to that, okay? 
Well, before we get into our letters, we want to all just settle down. When everybody get comfortable, let's just stop and let's just close our eyes. And let's just visualize light filling our bodies. And let's attune to the spirit world. Okay, <laughs> I hear my spirit guy Fletcher back here. He's wound up. All right, our first letter today is from California Dreamer. Hi, California Dreamer. California Dreamer writes, says, Dear Bob, in the last two months, um, I frequently and randomly hear ringing in my ears. I also have been seeing a lot of number sequences like 1111, 555, 444, etc. Are my spirit guides trying to tell me something? Or is all of this just a coincidence? Good question, California Dreamer. Well, first of all, in regards to the ringing in the ears, um, I would like you to see a doctor. Um, you know, I just saw a report recently. They're saying a lot of Americans are getting tinnitus. And I have to be honest, uh, I think you may have a touch of tinnitus. Now, I don't think it's going to be continual or severe, but I do pick up a little bit of an imbalance. Sometimes that's connected to the inner ear nerve. And, um, you know, so I do want you to see a doctor. Now, a lot of times when people are opening psychically, they will also get that ringing. So I don't want to say it's not spiritual, but I always say start with the practical, start with the medical. I'd like you to have yourself check for tinnitus. I think there could be a slight case of that, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that you're not also going to get spirit messages because I do see you opening psychically. Um, now, in regards to these number sequences, I love this. You know, whenever you see these repeating numbers like you wrote here, 1111 or 555 or go to the clock and it's 444, um, what that is is that is spirit's way of trying to get your attention. And it's nothing ominous. Generally, it means you're just, we're here, you're not alone, okay? And it's really an affirmation by your spirit people. Uh, by the way, speaking of spirit people, I get a man around you. I keep hearing a man talking to me. He gives me a Claude, C-L-A-U-D. Sounds like a French one, Claude. He said, I am Claude. And he speaks with a French accent. One of your spirit guides here. But he's the one um, working with you now. He's helping you open psychically. And he's the one bringing those numbers to you. Okay. Anyways, and you know, you said here, is any of this, is this all just a coincidence? Let me tell you, in the spirit world, there are no coincidences. So it all has a purpose. But to have those ears checked, now if you come back and they say, oh, there's no tinnitus, well, that's wonderful. That's just an assign, a further confirmation of your psychic gifts. But I'd like you to have it checked out at first, okay? <laughs> Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. All right, our next letter is from uh, Stojans Dezelikov. De Excuse me if I'm saying that incorrect, incorrectly. Stojans Dezelikov. And they write, Dear Psychic Bob, will I be able to scry in the future? <clears throat> Hi, Stojans. Um, well, yes, I do see you being able to scry. It's actually one of your gifts. And, you know, you're being drawn to explore that. Because on a soul level, you see you're developing your clairvoyance. A lot of times psychic gifts start before we're even conscious of it. I remember as a kid, you know, I used to hear spirit voices and have visions. And I didn't understand any of this. I thought everybody had it. Uh, but not everybody gets it like that. But I do feel you're being drawn to scry. Uh, by the way, you might want to check out my videos. Just go to my channel and sort under the videos. There's a little magnifying glass it's a search engine and just type in scrying or scrying or crystal ball or mirror uh, I have a number of videos on scrying and they may help you get going on that but uh, I do see that already you've got purple light in your aura which tells me that you're opening your clairvoyance your, your psychic connection and I do think you have a bit of mediumship as well so don't be surprised if when you're scrying you know messages come from spirits that may appear in your your crystal ball or your mirror or water, whatever you're using. But I do feel that you are being led by spirit to open those abilities. Thanks for writing. Hope that helps. Blessings. <clears throat> um, 
My next letter is from Mary and Bright. Hello, Mary and Bright. <clears throat> we need more Mary and Bright people in the world. I love that. Um, Mary and Bright writes, Hey, Psychic Bob, are there any messages for me from the spirit world? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm getting around you two different people here. Uh, one of them who appears to be a grandmother. I want to put this on the father's side. Actually, I want to go back. Great grandma. Great grandmother on the father's side. One of your spirit people. And she's around you right now. She's talking to me about something about issues around money. And she said the money's coming in. And she's asking me to talk to you about the month of October. And it looks like October may be an opportunity for you to have some more money in your pocket. Either a new job or... Or a kind of like an increase financially in some way. But she says, tell her not to worry. There's more money coming in October, okay? Um, I'm also getting another spirit around you. It's an angel guide uh, named Sharon. That's her name. Sharon's one of your spirits. She's beautiful. She has long kind of auburn hair down to her shoulders. Wearing a silver gown. Has big like angel wings. She's an angel guide. Sharon is her name. S H A. R-O-N, Sharon. So both of them are around you. And Sharon's also saying October is the money time for you. So going to be some improvement financially and hang in there. October's the turning point. Okay. Blessings to you. Hope that helps. All right. <clears throat> My next letter is from Nigella for me. Hello, Nigella for me. Nigella writes, Dear Bob, it's been almost 16 years that I've been divorced. I'm sick of living alone. Do you see a relationship for me? Hi, Nigella. You know, I understand your frustration. You know, it's hard in this world, you know. And, you know, I'll tell you one thing. It's better to be on your own than to be with the wrong person. But that being said, I feel like you've done all of your alone time. I feel like on a soul level... You've really come to work out your issues. You know yourself. I love the light around you because when I'm stepping into your frequency, I'm getting beautiful, soft yellow and soft white light. Very gentle colors. This means that you're drawing people to you now. Soft yellow tells me that you have that inner dialogue. You really know yourself now. And I want you to watch. Um, it's not going to be till after the new year that I see you meeting somebody. But it looks like it's in the around the month of March, beginning of March of 2020. So not that long, you know, that far away. Uh, but I do see a person entering your life. It's going to be a male. Um, he has a connection to a construction business. I feel that he is like a builder of houses or commercial property. I think it's more houses. A uh, very nice gentleman, uh, kind of tall, uh, medium like brown hair, kind of blondish brown hair, parted on the side. Really tall guy, about six feet, but gentle. Like it's funny when you see him, <clears throat> you'll say, gosh, he looks really strong. But when he talks, his voice is very soft, very kind man, um, very talented, a lot of vision, build his own business. And I see you making a connection with him. It looks like it's at a uh, restaurant. You're at a, now don't take this the wrong way, it's like a bar. Not a bar, this is not some drunk bar pickup. You're at a restaurant with some girlfriends or with another girl, a female I see. And he just is there like at a table near you and y'all start talking. Uh, the name I want to put around, this is a P in the name, like Paul or Phil. It's like a P, I'm going to say Paul around that. But it looks like around March of 2020 okay so keep watching hang in there uh oh the restaurant looks like it might be a mexican style restaurant because i'm seeing sombreros on the wall with like mexican decor so i think that's where it is okay so go check out your local restaurants all right thanks for writing blessings to you uh all right my next letter is from Haley in colorado hello Haley. Haley writes, Dear Psychic Bob, do you have any messages for me from any of my family members in the spirit world? Let me just step into your energy, Haley. Hold on just a moment. You know, um, Haley, I'm getting around you uh, a voice. I hear... 
a voice, hold on, trying to get it in. You know, when they come over from the spirit world, sometimes it's very faint from Fletcher, can you bring them closer, please? Okay, hold on just a second. Hey, I hear a, a voice around you. There's actually two voices. One is a male, uh, one is a female. Okay, this male is one of your spirit guides. You have a guardian spirit guide around you. Uh, the name, it sounds like it's a, um, he gives me the name of Aaron. It's with an A. Aaron is his name. He said, I'm Aaron. I'm one of her guides. And Aaron's asking me to, he said, I brought somebody here for you. Aaron, I can't hear them. Bring them closer. Okay, I can hear. There's a woman's voice I'm getting here. Okay, I'm hearing a lady talk to me from spirit. And she said, uh, she's like weeping. She said, oh my God, my baby, my little girl, my little girl. I think this is a mother here. I get a female vibration. It feels very protective, very motherly around you. And she's asking me to, she says, oh, please tell her I'm okay. Uh, I get the sense that she, she left before her time. And she said, yes, I left before my time. She said, I wish I could have stayed. Um, she keeps pointing me to her chest area, but she's going like this down through her body. And I get like swelling here in the chest area as if there was some issues, possibly like, like inflammation around the lymph glands or the inflammation around the ribs and the area around the arm. So I feel that she may have crossed through something. It may have been cancer, but what's strange is I'm getting it also through her blood. So I don't know if it was leukemia or lymphoma. Uh, but I get like a kind of a cancer type illness around her. But she says to me, I have all the word she says, all the swelling is gone. All the swelling. So I feel at the time it, towards the end there, she was a little swollen in the chest area or through her body in some way. And she says, I'm at peace now. Um, I get the sense she's been in the spirit world. Just it's not been actually that long. I was going to say it's been in the last... I was going to say five years, and I heard your guide say less than five years. So I feel like this is relatively recent, uh, within like a year or two, maybe three years at the moment. I'm going to say one to two years, though, since she's crossed. Uh, she's asking me to tell you, she said, I have been around her a lot. She said she doesn't pick me up, though. And I get the sense that you've been trying to hear her or talk to her, because she said, she said she calls out for me at nighttime. And you know, I don't know if you know this, but when you're sleeping, you're actually talking to her. She says, she said, I come and sit on her bed at night. So she has been visiting you. She wants you to know that she said, tell her I'm sorry I left her. She, she makes me feel as if she feels that she abandoned you and the family. And she said, I, I didn't mean to go. I couldn't stay. The body stopped working. And she wants you to know that she's okay now. And she said, I have looked in on you. Um, now, I don't know if this makes sense, but I get the sense here right around her on the day of her death. Um, I don't think that you were right there beside her. She says to me, I came to her right after I died. So you, I don't, maybe I'm misinterpreting this, but I get the understanding that you were not actually physically in the room with her when she died. She says, tell her, don't worry about that. Because it looks like for some reason you're carrying some some maybe a bit of guilt saying, well, I wish I could have been there. And she said, you did everything you could, darling. She said, you can't stop living. And she said, I want you to know that I'm not upset about anything. So she wants you to know she's made it to the light and she's so happy. She showed me some flowers she's brought for you as a gift. They're pink carnations. And I get the sense she really loved these flowers and maybe you love them. But she says, here's some pink. They're little small, like you know, they little baby carnations. And they've got babe's breath around. She's bringing those to you as a gift from the spirit world. And she says to tell you, watch your dreams. She said, I'm coming to her at night a lot. So she is going to be appearing in your dreams. She also keeps showing me a mirror here. Like, a, I don't know if you got a mirror from her, like a vanity mirror or a dresser mirror. But there's a large mirror that she's showing me. It's kind of like maybe four feet tall. And she said, she'll see me in the mirror. So I don't know if you understand that. It may be that while you're combing your hair, you'll see her behind you or that you have a mirror that she's going to, but she said, watch for me in the mirror. So I hope that makes some sense. I want you to pay attention to that, okay? But she is around you. She said she's fine. And she says, oh, I can breathe and walk and I'm free. She was really tired at the end. She said, I was so tired. 
And she said, I'm not tired. But she said, she's over in the spirit world. And she said, I'm even dancing now. And she said, I wasn't the best dancer, but I've danced it down. She sends her love to you from the spirit world. And um, she said, please call me. Talk to me. I'm with you. Okay. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Okay. Fletcher said they have to take her back. Thank you, darling. I hope that helps you or makes some sense, okay? Anyways, thank you for being here. Blessings to you. Oh my gosh, guys, I, tell you, I don't know where the time is. Well, now we're at the part of our show where I do shout outs from the spirit world. Now, these are not necessarily people who have written letters. Sometimes these are just random messages that come through for subscribers. That's why you want to be a subscriber at Spirit Young, because if you're a subscriber, you never know when Spirit will send a message to you. Um, okay, my first message, Spirit shout out, I call it. Spirit shout out is for Susan Colon. Susan, hon, I have to tell you, uh, in regards to this upcoming legal situation, uh, the trial um, about the custody issue, I keep getting the word delay around this. I'm being shown there could be a delay or a continuance, meaning it will be delayed for a different date. Don't let that upset you. I know you want this over with, but any delay right now uh, brings success to you. So don't be upset if it doesn't go off the way you want it. Uh, I want you to remember this. You're going to win, but you have to stand in your truth. Don't let anybody try to make you change what you say or intimidate you. I want you to visualize blue light around you. Blue light is your power color right now, and that's going to help you to, you know, to move forward uh, in your truth. Okay, so visualize beautiful blue light surrounding you. Um, but I see this turning in your favor. Uh, you know, the people that have caused a lot of this have kind of been unfair. And I feel like your situation, um, well, you've just been dragged through and it's not fair. Uh, the universe knows you're suffering and it'll turn in your favor. Okay, visualize blue light. All right. Blessings to you. All right, my next spirit shout out is for Antoine LaVey. Hello, Antoine. Listen, Antoine, I got to tell you, you got a very powerful spirit guide around you right now. Right now, her name is Doreen Valiente, and she's asked me to tell you she's working with you now because she said she's helping you delve into the deeper positive. She said emphasizes the more positive aspects of Wicca. OK, and Doreen says, she said, we don't have anything to do with Satan. Forget Satan. She said the Lord and the lady is where the power is. And she's leading you into a deeper connection to Mother Earth, to Father Sky, to Mother Moon and Mother Sea. So Doreen Valiente is around you in spirit. So you might want to research her. Last name is spelled V-A-L-I-E-N-T-E, -E, Valiente. All right. She's a British author. Okay, and a very powerful Wiccan. <clears throat> All right, my next spirit shout out is for Tina J. Hello, Tina J. Good to see you, dear. Uh, listen, you know, I got a message this morning. I had a flash. You know, sometimes when I'm, you know, getting like I was drying my hair and combing it, I had a flash of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and I heard her say your name. And she said, but she didn't call herself Guadalupe. She says, I am Tonan San. Uh, Tonan San was the ancient mother goddess uh, in uh, Central America, like Mexico and down through there. Tonan Zen, she was an Aztec goddess. Um, but she's around you in spirit. She said, I call her to honor the ancient ways. So Tonan Zen, I want you to do research on Guadalupe and Tonan Zen because that's who's working with you. Uh, she's a great, powerful goddess, but she's around you and guiding you. Anyways, hope that makes some sense. Had to deliver. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know where the time goes, but I thank you for being here. You guys rock it. You're the best. I love you. Mm. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Wednesday. That's Wiccan Wednesday. And we're going to talk more about worship of the sun god. And I'm going to show you how to wear the sacred mark of the sun lord. So make sure to be here. You don't want to miss it. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go get the astrology info for this week. It's going to help all of you. It's for all 12 zodiac signs. So whatever sign you are yesterday, you'll get some help in a day-to-day -day forecast for the whole week.
make sure to don't miss it, okay? Well, guys, listen. I love you. I've got to run. i got readings today. Give me a call if you want to get on my schedule this week. I still have a few openings. 703-825-3929 is my number. And again, that number will be below. Or write to me at my email, psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. Don't forget, please help me out. Like this video. Thumbs up. Favorite it. Share it with your friends. And please hit subscribe. Join our channel. We're getting up to 18,000 members here. And I'd love you to be part of it. Thank you so much. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may all of you always blessed be.